Welcome, beloveds, to another weekly inspiration with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. I am so grateful to have you here today. And I just want to take a moment of silence to bless our brothers and sisters around the world. Let's get right into our prayer. So let's just breathe in grace, gratitude, and good, knowing right where we are. God is right where we are. Peace is right where we are. Love is. And so I'm just knowing in this divine and perfect moment that everything is working for our highest and best good. I am knowing that fear has no place here because God is near, because we are one with God. And because we are one with God, I bless our minds, our bodies, our spirits. I bless our homes, our dwellings, our modes of transportation. I bless our workplaces. I bless our bank accounts. I bless the food we eat and the drinks we drink. I bless our loved ones, significant others, pets, plants, ancestors. I bless it all. I bless our beloved earth and Father Sky. I bless every single animal, every man, woman, and child, every spirit that takes its first breath and every spirit that takes its last because we are so blessed. I'm knowing that this week is filled with magic as we move into this full moon, as we move into this healing and manifest, manifesting time. I know that every need is met. I know that everything is working for our highest and best good. And I know everything is in divine and perfect order. So I am letting go. I am letting God. And so it is. So thank you, beloveds. We are growing into a full moon and the summer solstice. Both are next Monday, so the energy this week is building, building, and building. So let's get into it and see what the tarot has to say. I'm very excited because last week we had three major arcanas, and now that we're moving into this full moon, let's see what is in store for us with that energy. Okay, so let's see what is here for us today. And I do have a couple of announcements and things I'd like to share. Actually, some big announcements, I should say. And uh, so here we go. All right. So the cards have spoken. Our first card here is the Eight of Rods. And so what this is telling me, beloved, is this is a time of, like I said, growth and expansion, but also of manifestation. So pay attention to what you are paying attention to. This is a very good time to mind your mind. We are very in this time of manifesting, and what you think about, you bring about, beloved. And so our next card, then, is the Three of Cups. Again, check in. What is your emotional what is your emotional guide right now? What are you listening to? What is pulling your emotions? Is it your thoughts or is it love? Because a lot of times, oh yeah, that I feel so bad on this and that. But it's really about are we connecting to our thoughts or are we connected to our beingness? And so that's what it means when we know that we are connected to a power higher than us. And so I invite each of you to take a moment and reflect this week again. What is it that you're asking for and what are you putting all your time and attention into? Because then we get the Knight of, of Swords and this is keep going forward. Don't stop and don't let fear get in your way because fear can stop you in your tracks or fear can fuel you. This is also about trusting your intuition. So there's lots of signs, lots of symbolism, especially because the moon is growing and as the moon grows so does our intuition and so I wanted to share with you a couple things the psychic scents are still in pre-sale I wanted to show you so this is the size of the roll-on that um, will be the psychic scents for our roll-on we'll also be making a, um, a, a chakra spray a room clearing spray and some other amazing things so if you'd like a chakra um, I'm sorry a chakra balancing oil which is my line of aromatherapy oils please send me an email check out the website www.tarolifecoach.com i've got lots of amazing things coming up the biggest announcement i want to share is i'm totally shifting my business in every my my life in big ways and so i've been tarot life coach for many years my business started professionally in 2009 as tarot life coach and now i'm shifting gears and to be being more than I thought I could be. And so that is going to be be a leader of leaders. I want to be a leader of light. And so I'm stepping into my spiritual entrepreneurship, leadership, and um, and guidance because I have, I have done all the psychic things that I could do. Coming in number three psychic in the world, that is a beautiful and a beautiful experience that I continue to be grateful for. And now it's time for me to step up 
who I am. And so I'm going into spiritual leadership, creating leaders. And because now more than ever, we need more spiritual leaders to heal this pain of those wounds in this world. And so I'm stepping into greater leadership and I'm inviting you to step into greater leadership with me. So if you are one of those who is ready to step into the light, ready to play a bigger playing field and ready to bring spirit into your business, spirit into your life and spirit into your everything, then send me an email at tarolifecoach at gmail.com. So beloveds, we've got a great week on tap, but remember you've got to do the work. You've got to do the healing, you've got to do the mending, and you've got to do the loving. So get to it, beloved. I can't wait to share with you next week with that full moon, super, super, super full moon, as well as that summer solstice. So until next time, beloved, peace and blessings.